Free kicks on eFootball 2022 are a free goal if you know how to take them. Any free kicks around the box should be converted, especially versus the computer. Online, some players have found ways to make it more difficult for you, but you can still have a high success rate if you follow my advice in this video. Welcome to gaming and welcome to another eFootball 2022 tips and tricks video. If this video helps you out, then please leave a like. Everything I tell you in this video needs to be practiced in the training mode before you try it out in matches. Starting with the basics, make sure to find a player that you like taking free kicks with. I know this sounds simple, but every player has a different feel to the way they take set pieces. There have even been times where I'll use a lower rated free kick taker because I simply prefer the way they feel on the free kicks. Never ever use a straight shot at the wall. These almost never go in and mostly hit the wall or fly over the bar. Your success rate will be extremely low if you just point at the goal and hit shoot. The most effective way to score free kicks on eFootball is to bend the ball up and over the wall. Getting that whip and dip usually leads to a goal. Depending on your taker, you'll want to point towards just past the middle of the goal towards where the goalkeeper is standing. Holding your power to around 60% full while holding the L stick slightly back and all the way to the opposite side should result in a beautifully curled free kick. Your power will need to be slightly increased if the kick is further out. This works 90% of the time from anywhere around the edge of the box all the way back to around 28 meters out. Any further out and you're starting to get into a different shot type. For these, you'll want to not point as far towards the goalie Instead, just slightly to the side of the wall, hold the power down to around 75% while pushing the L stick forward and away slightly from the goalkeeper. These kicks at a further distance have a much lower success rate, but you can score the occasional one from this range. You can even score from what would be considered the unnatural side. Again, pointing the camera to the far side of the wall and applying the same L stick movement as mentioned earlier back and all the way to the opposite side, you'll give an almighty bend around the wall and catch the goalkeeper off guard as they're not expecting you to whip it like that. Another way to score on the unnatural side is pointing the camera slightly towards the goalie and holding the L stick slightly back and away from the goalkeeper. Now your set piece taker will attempt an outside of the boot shot and they can be very successful once you've got them down. I mentioned earlier that online opponents have figured out ways to make free kicks less of a free goal, but there are still ways to combat this. You may notice your opponent take manual control of their goalkeeper while you set up your free kick. This is usually, but not always, a good indicator that they are going to move their goalkeeper across to negate the curled free kick leading to a simple save for them. To counter this, you can simply point your camera at the wrong side of the wall, essentially where the keeper is stood. Hold your power to around 50% or more if you are further away. You can push the L stick forward to give some extra power, but sometimes just leaving it alone will do the trick. Now if they move their keeper, they will be left looking like a fool as the ball nestles in the opposite side of the goal. Sometimes you might need a few free kicks during a match to figure out how your opponent sets up their keeper and it might be a case that you curl one and they move their keeper so next time you go the opposite side. Some players might even guess that you'll do that and this is where free kicks have become the same as penalties. So as long as you get them on target though you always have a chance of scoring a goal. So there you have it, those are my eFootball free kick tips and tricks. See you in the next one.